It's a cold, dark winter afternoon, but interceptor Katie Eustace is in her happy place. The heated driver's seat of a 335 brake horsepower X5. Pure four-wheel zen. For an afternoon shift, we're on a three midnight. The roads have been quite dry there. It's not raining for once. So hopefully it'll be quite a good shift. A VW Golf has triggered the old Eustace Spidey sense. Echo, Julia, echo. Female only. Nice it's insured to a woman, but... I think it's a male driving it. Katie dreams of owning a pad in California's Laguna Beach, but there's not so much as a Renault Laguna out tonight. Just an old golf driven by either a very butch woman or a wrong one. Who ignores blues and twos. Mate, we've got to And it's got a vehicle failing to stop. Chesterfield Road North towards the roundabout at Pleasley. And immediately runs a red. It's a silver golf. Yeah, we can towards it. Yeah, it's onto the RE now. Yeah. P64 MC. Towards Shire, bro. Speed is 5 0. Road surface is dry. Moderate traffic. They're on the golf like a VW badge. And can see it's two up. There's a uh, front seat passenger. I think it's female. Uh, yeah, speed is 5 0. The suspect is sticking to the speed limit and even observing certain rules of the road. He's indicated to overtake. But not others, as he flies over a giveaway. Yeah, I'll is now. Suit, uh, T-Pet Juliet 1-7. After the close shave, he buries the throttle. Speed increasing to uh, 7 zero. A head-on at this speed would likely be fatal. Oh. Katie thinks he's got one thing in mind. I think he's going to try and run, you know. What the suspect doesn't know is Monty the police dog is also a keen runner. Just able to get tired. It's a decamp. Run up, run up. He's running, running, he's running, 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 running. But Monty the dog is on the case. The suspect has a head start, which makes it all the more fun for Monty and his head full of teeth. Oh! Hell, stop still, Monty. Leave. Ah. Uh, uh. That's driver and passenger nicked. Or put another way, the full Monty. Mate, you're under arrest for suspicion of theft of motor vehicle coming failing to stop. Well, you do not send it. You may have the hero has made quite an impression. What has he got you? On the arm. They just punch, they're not even punch wounds, they're just bruises where the teeth have gone on, mate. Yeah, yeah they're all like that, look. It's been a successful, if somewhat strange, pursuit. But it's about to take an even more bizarre turn with the identity of his passenger. It's his mum. And the getaway car is her vehicle. So what will happen is your car will be seized um, by us and we're going to be reporting you for allowing him to drive the car because you've knowingly allowed them to drive that car. You know he shouldn't be driving it. Yeah. All right, so that'll probably be points on your licence as well. All right, so I'll get the paperwork for that. In this case, Mother might not know best. So she's allowed him to drive that car at 5 o'clock at night when you've got loads of cars, pedestrians, kids about, and it's just... The entirely thoughtlessness and the behaviour of it is quite disgusting, really. He's just thoughtless and what a complete idiot. But he's got a lovely dog bite for Christmas, so there we go. Her son might be an idiot, but he's still her idiot. Yeah. Love you. Love you. 
and Katie might have the answer as to why this pair took off in the first place. He's got court bail not to contact his mum, which makes more sense for his not stopping now, is that he knows that if he breaches his court bail, we are bound by the courts to arrest him. So if we'd have stopped him finding with his mum, he'd have been arrested anyway. So actually, that's probably why he's not stopped. Just a uh, breath. All right, we'll give you a lift home. Thank you. Just time to get her belongings. This, this okay. Can I take me shopping? Oh, what is it? Just... Pants, hawks. Yes. Thank you. It's all right. Before heading off with a far more sensible driver. Right. Go on then, don't so, get you yeah. It's been great work by Monty. <laughs> oh! Hold, start, start. <laughs> and some top driving from Katie. Yeah, it's, it's just lovely that everything fell into place and we had the dog unit behind us all the way. It was a nice feeling that you think, actually, for once, we can st we're going to stay in the car and the dog will just go and eat him, which is what happened. Monty's pedigree chump pleaded guilty to dangerous driving, failing to stop, no licence, no insurance. He was ordered to do 40 hours unpaid work and given a 16-week prison term suspended for a year. He was banned from driving for 20 months with £205 costs. His mum received a scenic route home and no further action was taken.